Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck, and today we're playing some more Phasmophobia. And we're getting near the end of Phasmophobia because we are now on to the asylum. On Nightmare Difficulty. Oh boy. Best case scenario, and yes, I'd already got everything set up. I'm not some sort of psychopath that's just going in here with the uh, the default equipment. No, thank you. Um, best case scenario is we get an early ghost that makes a lot of noise. I can find it, and... We'll guess it correctly and go home and live happily ever after. If you're wondering where my um, thing's gone in the middle, I turned it off. Ah, shut up. I still listen to him even though I'm telling him to shut up. I didn't think I saw a ghost orb as soon as I turned that on at all. Um, cleanse the area, switch stick, soul, and get a photo of the ghost. I'll try, but I make no promises. This map is absolutely huge. Ridiculously big. I don't even know how I want to tackle this. I think it's going to have to be something like, we're at the bottom here. We'll tackle the main body of the asylum first. Upstairs, because I don't like the downstairs of this. It's like a bloody maze. Then we'll start doing the wings upstairs. And then if we've still not found it, we'll do the wings downstairs. I'm, I will warn you from the outset, though, that this could be a potentially long video. If we don't get any sightings whatsoever. I could ditch the candle attempt. And just run around with a parabolic and an EMF. Uh, yeah, no. And finding the breaker in this place could be a swine, because it could be down any one of the wings right at the end. I know it's normally in a room that's quite far down. It could be close as well, up this way. We're going to have to make sure we're shutting all doors behind us. We don't want to be confused about whether a door has been opened or if it was open already or not. Always worth checking these little rooms around the canteen to start with. I mean, the ghost can be in here quite often. I say quite often, but... You never know. Could get lucky. This isn't one that I've done much since the, um, the dots update. It is um, a fair bit creepier down here than it used to be. And it was creepy to begin with. Okay. Don't try and push a pull door. Fool. Damn it, shut. Sure. Um, uh, door's broke. Here we go. And we don't want doors open a crack like that. We want to get that shut. No, thank you. You know half of these rooms... I will never have been in. Asylum isn't one that I normally like to spend a lot of time in. It's just too big. I mean, then you get rooms like this. That's just got rooms in rooms in rooms. I mean, marvellous, yes. <clears throat> it's a patient's room. Ugh. With an office right next to me. No, that didn't get blown out that time down. Doorway downstairs. I do want to just double back through this corridor. So then I know I've done all these doors. There's only like two along here anyway. Or is it three? It might be one a little bit further down. But just making sure. Ugh, oh, I just wedged myself into the door. Alright. Back at the main foyer. We could have got dead lucky and it'd been a foyer ghost. That would have been absolutely amazing. Uh, new. It's probably going to be a downstairs end of wing ghost. Just to absolutely bamboozle me. This is the other thing. Because I'm getting that turned around, I'm not sure which rooms I've actually been in. And which I haven't. So far, I think we've only been in each room once. 
Then you get huge rooms like this. Which are just dead creepy in themselves. Oh dear. Oh, I had meant to do that. There, that's the one. It's alright. Nobody in here? Right, we've done every door along this way now. Now we can start actually going into the wing. Which I'm going to go up one side, down the other. We need to be systematic in here, otherwise this isn't going to work. Anybody just hear a door? Because I did. Not that that's really going to help me much at the minute. Just being a bit quiet. Without the breaker on though, it's going to be difficult to tell freezing breath. Yeah, Mum. You did it before. Just tamper with another door for me, please. Look like the flipping building was setting on fire. As I got closer to that, then it went very red. It could have been any of these doors. Listening for things being thrown, water turning on, anything, any sign at all. Nothing. I think worst case scenario is if it's a hallway ghost actually. Trying to uh, pin that down. We're near the end of the first wing already. Trying to pin that down could be a, a nightmare in itself. There was no blowing sound then. That was just um, the candle timing out. I'm sure that one behind me because we're going through the other door when we leave. Fairly sure that is the most I've ever explored one wing. Okay. Not heard any more doors. I wonder if the showers can turn on in here like they can the uh, the newer houses. In the prison, I assumed they would be able to. I hope the door didn't open downstairs. Oh, I guess we know which wing it's in. Well, for now, until it jumps. Come on. Please stop panting. I assume his retort would be, please stop sprinting then. Yes! I mean, I still kind of need to find the breaker. But that water is a gift. Right, we've checked every single room. This side of the wing. And how lucky were we to go down the wing where it was first time? Oh, well, I'm good saying that now until it murders me in here. 
So I'm going to leave this door open. Actually, this is quite a nice one for it. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you in the hallway? I'm gonna shut. <sighs> there could be fingerprints there. It's throwing things in that room as well. There could be fingerprints. I haven't got a black light. Getting there and back in two minutes is gonna be fairly difficult. Well, we've got one piece of evidence already. Which I didn't actually think you could get without the um, box being turned on. But uh, I guess you... Oh, candle went out and I did not notice. Obviously, that only raises the temperature so you can see which rooms are colder. If it goes negative, that's still a different story. Um, I think it's um, time we chucked these down. Evidence we have had freezing temps that knocks out. Well, we can leave equipment in there now at least which is quite nice This is never going to get powered up if I never find the um, Thingy Bobby Breaker what did I want to take in a black light and to be fair. I want to take in a camera early Come here Come here Pick me up Thank you I know I said I was turning turning the uh, thing off in the middle of the screen, but I didn't realise I couldn't click that well. Right, go, go, go. So it seems to be between them two rooms. I don't exactly know how I'm going to set a camera up between them two. I can remember the way back easy enough. I'd love to have some lights on in these hallways just to get there. Look at that flipping camera view. That looks terrifying. Anybody ever seen the Slenderman footage on um, YouTube? It reminds me of some of that sort of stuff. I don't really want to be talking about that while I'm doing this game. Right. I've heard it throwing stuff in this room. Nothing's out of place. Cool, I've not heard it throwing anything in this room. Um, that seems a fairly crappy place. Really, the freezing breaths out here. Mm, don't do that to me. And when I say don't do that to me, I mean the um, turning off of my torch when I switch to the black light. That is horrible. You fancy opening that door for me again? Please. You know, I'm actually going to turn this off and just leave it there. I need to get more equipment down here. What do we reckon? I have some sanity tablets or... You just opened the door, didn't you? You absolute imbecile. Give me. I'm going to have to turn that back up, aren't I? Oh, no. I didn't apply. I thought I was decent at that. Apparently not. Which door did you open? I must be hearing things then. Hmm. It's luring me back here to waste my sanity, isn't it? The ghost, it's not stupid. It knows what it's doing. It's gonna open another door now. Will you frig off with the breath this far down the corridor? What? 
that's got to be because I've not got the breaker on. Or is it just the entire friggin' hallway? That's ridiculous. Now, oh, what I was saying before I got distracted, should I have some tablets now? Probably. <clears throat> I know a oh, friggin' hallway ghost. I wanted a room ghost. Do, 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 do. Um, that's with night vision on. What good's that? <laughs> what good's that? I can't see anything. Crap. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that one. I, I want to test the spirit box. Let's take this. Really? Really? Let's see if we can like narrow down its location. And then I'm going to spirit box around the hallway. I should really get a book and stuff in there as well, I guess, but I don't really need this parabolic. I'm literally taking it for the creepy sounds, potentially. I'm not testing spirit box until we're near um, the toilet and the door that it keeps opening. I'm getting a five. Is that the water, though? I think that might be the water. Do you want me to leave? Talk to me. Give me a sign. Why is it so dark? It's like this entire hallway. That is horrible. I think I'm going to get a candle and go down the other end looking for the breaker. Really? The breath extends so far. Yeah. Breaker seems like a good chat. <clears throat> it's just finding the bloody thing. There's so many different storerooms it could be in. Nah, screw it. I said I probably wasn't going to candle walk the entire place. I'm not going to candle walk the entire place. Um, I don't think we need a thermometer, really. Give me one of these and one of those. Actually, let's get one of these in there. You know, add a little bit of light to this place. I have no idea where to put it. So again, I'm going to put it between the toilet and the... Um, it's like, is it like a little canteen lunchroom sort of thing? Kind of looks like that. So that's roughly where the freezing temperature extends to. If not... I just knocked on a window, didn't it? I 
I was literally about to say we've not got any open doors as I turned and saw the door was open. Now, I don't necessarily want to move everything into this room. But... We'd like to have a look. And we did get some EMF in here, so... A slight bit of EMF, though, that's not enough to base everything off of, is it? Give me that. Give me that. I've literally just moved everything after saying I'm not moving everything. GG. Shall I look for spirit orbs? Ghost orbs? The horrible way. Are you close? Do you want me to leave? Give me a sign. It likes banging on these windows. <laughs> well, I think she's in this room, at least for now, until my sanity's plummeted enough that she leaps into another one. Please don't be one of the faster ghosts. There's dead long hallways in here. I can't escape. Hmm. I mean, we did well with the prison escape last time, like, but the prison's windy. It's got lots of um, corners and stuff. I guess if I could get to this area, we can break line of sight easy enough. I've got to get all the way down the long hallway. We're absolutely eating some of these bad boys. I can somewhat see in there. Anybody shout if you see any orbs. I'm fairly sure we'll notice if it's um, dot projector. That is a pretty poor camera angle, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not the best camera. Um, what else have we got to do? Salt smudge stick. I might actually take a smudge stick in there. Now, take the salt in there. It can't be a wraith, so I'm not that full. Let's take a book. On the plus side, it's even closer to the truck. So the, uh, the runs are even shorter than before. So hopefully it's just freezing temps in the hallway and the ghost is locked into that room being as though it spawned in there. Maybe I should put a crucifix in that room. You know, being as though she spawned next to the windows that she keeps trying to put through. Right. This door was closed. I was about to say, I'm sure I've heard footsteps then.
You just throw something. I'm sure it just threw something, but I have no idea where. You know what? I'm actually getting this camera out into the hallway. We might not be able to see anything again, but... <laughs> Be that. Come on. Give me the fingerprints already. Didn't mean to shut that door. That's a lot of evidence right there. I want to leave. It's getting very aggressive around here at the minute. Um, ma, 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 ma. Let me just put this right there. Then we can go. Kind of hoping we'd hear something. Ooh, I've gone the wrong way. It's fine. We'll escape still. I know where we are. Fairly sure that door was always open. I've never even been down that end of the wing, so. Come on, hopefully it gives me one of the other evidences. Orbs! Yes! No! I don't want it to. That could be bad. Uh, on the plus side, I'd know seconds before I died if it was this one. Mainly because it'd be sprinting at me. Um, get a ghost. A ghost? Get a ghost to walk through salt. Accent slipped a little bit. It's not a reverence shit, Sir Oak. Shut up. Reverend Yurney, on to on you. I can't check sanity, but it seems to be getting very aggressive very quickly. That could be my sanity plummeting. Um, just so we all know, Revenant will travel at a significantly faster speed when hunting their prey. That's why I don't want it to be a Revenant. Hiding from the Revenant will cause it to move uh, very slowly. I've got to get to a hiding spot before it murders me, is the thing. Oh, damn it. Um, what else have we got? Hantu and Unryu. Well, that's a bit of a bogger because that means that this one is actually the quickest ghost I've got on the board because I've not got the breaker on at the minute. So the entire place is freezing. Well, almost freezing. In fact, all the hallways are freezing because we've seen all the breath. Oh, dear me. <laughs> And Unreal. I can flick a flame on and off near it. If it tries to murder me, it could be an Unreal. But we're not getting any more evidence is the thing. It seems to be this room. Photo and smudge stick. Well, I'm taking a smudge stick. And then if it stops being as aggressive, obviously you walk into the dark place before you do this. If it stops being as aggressive for a while, 
then that's what my guess is going to be, what we just left the book on. Just need to get there quickly so I can smudge the room. I've had some more tablets. Hopefully my sanity is nice and high. If we could find the Ouija board, I could ask it how my sanity was. So we've cleansed the area. I don't particularly want this down anymore. I guess I should go and get a camera. So then I can at least try and get a photo of it. Really, I should get the breaker on. So if it is the Hantu and everywhere is cold, it's just going to catch me. If it's the Revenant, it's just going to catch me. <laughs> I did not want these sorts of ghosts in this place game. EMF's ringing out. I think it, it's listening to me. It's not hunting, though, on the plus side. Uh, give me one of these as well. If we're somewhat convinced what room it is. Oh, crap. I brought my lighter in with me. If we're somewhat convinced of what room it is, then... I can at least get a crucifix down and potentially stop it from murdering me. I do think this is going to come down to a pure guess. <clears throat> now, I would say that that hasn't calmed down after having its room smudged. Actually, I should leave that on, really. Show yourself. Show us. I have no idea where I'm running if it starts hunting, by the way. Nope. Show us. Talk to me. Give me a sign. Yeah, mum. You did not. Oh, no. I don't want to be it. I don't really want to be in here anymore, personally. It's got too big of an influence of where it can reach with it being a hallway one. Do I just make an educated guess? I d there's no education on this one, though. It's playing with doors, kind of, but not really. I'm not that bothered about a ghost. Sorry, Patricia. I'm just staying in the van for the rest of this episode. Um, It's literally just a guess at this point. Revenant Yuri haunt you on Ryu. I mean, two of these we can't really test because two of these you think Han 2 do. Two of these move faster in certain situations. So that's what we'd need to be able to see to guess it's them. I don't think it's this one because it didn't calm down after we smudged the room. That's the one that I think it's definitely not. Unreal.
It steals souls from dying victims' bodies. Fears any form of fire and will do anything to be far from it. I could walk back down there with a candle. What's the worst that could happen with a candle? I'm just going to take these last... Right, I've got to roll up. I don't even need that gift to play, Stephen. And I know what gift it is. <laughs> I hate um, gifts like that. This is risky, by the way. Oh my god, sir. What even is that? It just blew my candle out. My guess has just changed. I know all of them can blow the candles out. But as I was getting to where it was, it very quickly blew it out. Please don't hunt that. I'm going to go on, Ryu. Right, same as yesterday's episode, people on YouTube. Post what you think it is before we leave. See if you get it right. And don't go back and change your comments and don't post it after. It's cheating. Do it fairly. Come on, if it's on Ryu, I've not got to come back into this place. If it's Hantu, Night Raven was right. If it's the other two, then god damn it. Hantu! Raver! Damn it! <laughs> well, Night Raven gets this one. Damn it! I literally changed my mind because of the candle going out. Well, that's where the joke's on me because I've got to go back into the asylum now, but you guys get at least one more episode of this, so guess it works out well. Anyway, it's a fairly long episode, so we're going to wrap it up very quickly. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated, as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!